Good morning my friends and welcome back to another fossil hunting episode. Today we are here heading for my usual spot, spot of fossils and today I bring something quite different with me. This, an iron bar. So the reason for this is simple. Uh, last night there was a, a few drops of rain and the dirt is a little bit softer and I was wondering all the summer in my spot of fossils uh, there is a couple of rocks that are very hard and I can seem to find a way to take them out and today I bring this with me this iron bar sort of crowbar to see if I can take that stubborn fossils out so let's see Friends, I was just start to work in there, in there, so I believe there is something. <laughs> uh, see, there is fossils around here, all right. See what I mean? Take a look. <sighs> okay. Just one more effort. Whew. Whew. Done. <laughs> Despite the fact that there is nothing underneath, at least that I recognize, with all this mud, it's pretty difficult to identify anything. I'm going to leave the rock over here to see if uh, it rains a little bit in the uh, couple days ahead to see if there is something in here so now I have to check that thing over there Whew. I don't need a gym <laughs> so I've managed to take out one more rock but still I didn't find anything worth no notice just the breeze and Rock, pieces of rock nothing quite quite interesting well I guess I spoke too soon there is something in here I don't know what it is a shell maybe uh, I guess it's a shell well I'm starting to get real good at this or I have uh, a bit of luck because I managed to take the fossil out without breaking it just a little bit over there but it's a shell a beautiful blue color when washed but nothing quite extraordinary I have plenty just like that well let's see what kind of surprises are in there Let's continue. Well, this part over here connects to that other part over there. So I am seeing, despite the mud, some things that are interesting. Take a look. This indicate, indicates me that there is some sort of shell in that other spot over there. And what is that over here maybe an urchin or something I believe these are corals or trace okay. fossils I managed to break a little bit of this over here this piece over here was puzzling me because I don't know if it is an urchin and this here could indicate the possibility of a shell, a large shell. So I broke it a little bit. Let's see. Whoa! There is something in there quite all right. Whoa, take a look at this. This was a very large shell that was underneath this place. It's full of ants. Tiny ants, but... Okay. What is this over here? Long. 
Could this be a shell also? But it's very large. Take a look. It's still embedded in there. Yes, it's still. Look. It starts over here. I may have broken a little bit, but it was a very large one. Oh, this is a gold mine over here. <laughs> Shame about the the quantity of mud that don't let me see. Oh, what is this? Let me see this other chunk over here. More ants. Do you like ants? I like ants, not in my hands. Let me see this. I'm disturbing the house of the ants. Okay. Nothing in here. And nothing in here also. Oh. But this one. This one is interesting. Hmm. And what about that other bit over there? I still didn't quite figure out what is this. Well, let's continue. Well, let's see this other bit. Oh, my legs hurt. What's this? Quite funny colors. Uh oh. Uh oh. Could this be? Could this be? Ah, it's a razor ammonite! <laughs> oh, I broke it! Ah, damn! Okay, I, I cannot swear. Oh, I broke it a little bit. I never found one of these one piece. Oh, this is just a chunk. A chunk. I'm going to leave it here. Oh, why, why, why do I have to... Um, to bang with the hammer in here. Let me see if there is another piece over there. Oh, I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to disconnect the camera. To see if I can take this without breaking any more stuff around. Because this is very rare to me. Oh, let's see. So friends, I'm full of hands. I was trying to see if I can salvage all the pieces of the Razor Ammonite. As you can see, the Ammonite was in here. Uh, and there are only three pieces over there. So, they were in here. So let's hope that the other rest was over there it might be broken but for me it's a, quite a treasure because it's very difficult and hard to find one of these complete but i'm keeping my hopes low because why 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 do i have to break this one oh okay let's continue to see if i can find the rest of the ammonite the curse of the razor ammonite Urgh. Jesus well let's continue well I have noticed one thing the razor ammonite was in here as you can see this half moon shape um, I don't know if the camera is going to do a proper zoom but there is a few remains of something in here and over there there is a round shape and i believe it's a gastropod that is enclosed here in the matrix called neo <laughs> <laughs> stupid joke i'm crazy i know um okay let's continue well before i resume the hand for the pieces of the razor ammonite I'm trying to see if I can take this gastropod out of here. As you can see, it's looking quite good. Uh, it has a little tail. Oh, the tail is broken. It's breaking. Oh, damn. I broke his tail. I don't know if it's, it's, it, if it's part of the shell or if it's part of mud. Okay, I was so happy, but I believe this one is not going to come out in one piece. Stubborn fossil. Nah. 
Well guys, imagine that I was able to take the fossil out without damage much more so I believe I did a reasonable job just a little bit over here but now I'm not going to take this with a hammer no way but quite cool in my house I'm going to clean it with water to see if there is anything interesting in this fossil so this is the razor ammonite the curse of the razor ammonite well I'm going to see if I have any luck around here or not but oh maybe it's in here oh there's a tip around here yeah could this be the tip the missing tip let me see let me see if there is if it fits oh it fits it's from around here <laughs> i have another part <laughs> okay but i don't have the center <sighs> quite puzzling here we are friends and i'm going to wash the pieces of the razor ammonite that I found today see we can see the suture lines over there sorry guys I have to put some hot water in here because my hands and my fingers were starting to get numb can you see the suture lines over here quite impressive in this razor ammonite it's broken but I am going to see if I can put it back together I hope so it's funny because this side we cannot see anything it's sharp <laughs> Hello guys, the, here it is, the final result of today's hunt. It's not complete, but it has a good definition. You can see the suture lines over there, those arch. <laughs> it's quite curious and some, some of them are in a different color, which is cool. But comparing with the other ones that I've found, this one is the most complete that I have. This one over here is also in good... Uh, this is just a piece over here. This is just pieces that I, I collected over the years. But this one is the most complete so far. Uh, keep in mind that this is very fragile. <laughs> I, I didn't seem to find any one of these complete yet. But we'll see. We'll see the next episode if I can find one of these completes or not. So I hope you liked the video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, see you soon. Bye.